Hi guys. And Jesus is coming soon. God's love is just... More love than you can will ever receive from in this life. From better than a man and wife. Better than loving your kids. True love from Jesus. And God's love comes through him when you truly Get into his presence and understand and feel a true meaning of God's love so uncomparable that you just can't explain it. I can only explain it through tears of joy, tears going down my face with joy, saying it will be worth it all when I see Jesus. Lifting my hands and praising him. Even though I feel his deep, true love, I still don't understand it. Still can't express it the best. Better than anything. And you can receive God's love too. If you would just turn to him. This is the best thing that you will ever receive in your life. Forever. Is Jesus Christ. best love John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life it's more than just believing you have to turn to Jesus to be saved to be a born again believer and when you truly recognize of how Jesus died on the cross for your sins your spirit be full of joy and happiness of God's love. And that's how wonderful He is. That's how amazing God's love is. It's, it's, it's more than... It's more than I'm going to say. so much more and if you want Jesus in your life today all you have to do is simply basically just say God I'm sorry and believe it and mean it and just believe him believe on his word and believe everything he says and just turn from your sins turn to God and just say I'm sorry for everything wrong I have done. And when you truly become a born again believer, you will experience God's love than you could ever experience in this life. It's better to be in heaven than to be in hell. It's better for your for you. To be rejoicing in the Lord's presence than to be sad and depressed and lost in this world. God's love is more. It's, it's just more. It's more. God's true love for us. It's, it's just more. Turn to Jesus for it's too late. Because he is coming soon. And he will not leave forever. When I'm in God's presence. In his presence. I like to close my door. And get on my hands and my knees. And just say. Lift your name high Jesus. And sometimes. Tears will just flow down my face with joy. Because I know I have been forgiven. Because I have repented of my sins. And I know that Jesus is in my life. And that he is coming soon to get me. And I know that he is the Lord of my life. And I love him so much. And he can be the Lord of your life too. God wants you to experience his love. He doesn't want you to be lost. 
He wants you to experience his love and be filled with it, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And he, the Holy Spirit, is amazing too, because he's the one that speaks to you through God. Because without the Holy Spirit, we wouldn't really feel anything or know anything about God. And the Holy Spirit is just awesome and amazing too. And he is so much more too. Not more than God because he is God. And when you get baptized in the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And I can just imagine people jumping with joy and screaming hallelujah when they come out of that water again. And how amazing it is in God's love. I like to play these random notes on my piano together and they make into like a beautiful rhythm of a song or just a tune. And it makes me just cry and, and it just, sometimes I speak through my spirit too. I speak like, not really saying anything out loud, if so, really quietly. But speaking to my spirit to God. Because it's like when your spirit is here, you're, it's like when you're in time and presence with God, your spirit is here. And your spirit is like somewhere else, two places at the same time. God's love. Don't wait till it's too late. I know you're probably saying, I have sinned so much. I have done so much that God will never forgive me. That is not true. The only thing that cannot be forgiven is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. But everything else, God will forgive you for murdering, lying, cheating, cussing. Cussing is wrong too. It, it don't say cuss in the word Bible. It says cursing, sinning. Even saying God's name in vain. God will forgive you if you just repent of your sins and turn to him. It's so amazing. That's what church is for. Church. We, the church, are supposed to share the gospel and make disciples, bring the lost to Jesus. We are to to boldly share the gospel of grace and of how much God loves them. And that one day that we, they would get saved and the enemies just trying out there really hard to deceive anybody. He like a roaring lion just waiting for someone to devour them and we can say no satan leave me alone i am a child of god and we can say drive satan away and we put on the form of god and we believe god and we believe his word and we and we know that we are saved and that he will never fail us and he will never leave us nor forsake us and we can say hallelujah because jesus is our lord and we can say hallelujah because he is our king of kings he is the king of kings and his kingdom of heaven is coming and the kingdom of heaven is here too, even in our spirits too. And we can say hallelujah, praise the Lord, and we can jump up and down and praise his name. And we can just get on our knees or we can just run out in the streets and say hallelujah, praise the Lord. And we can just personally be like, what's wrong with you? And be like, I know nothing's wrong with me. I got Jesus in my life. Where's Jesus in your life today? Anyways. I just want to hop up here and say that, about how amazing God's love is. And I would just like to shout and praise His name and glory to God and give Him all the praises and kisses and everything. And one day, the people that we talk to and share the gospel, you may be planting seeds too. Or you may be influencing someone. How, how they say, I want to be like them. How can I be like them? And that's when they come to God. And God comes to them. Because God is always tugging on their heart. Jesus said, Behold, I knock at the door. If anyone hears me, uh, they will let me in and I will die with him. In other words, the Holy Jesus is knocking on your heart. And he's trying to pull those, he's pulling the strings on your heart. Trying to come into your life. But you have like this block wall. And and you're, you're like, I'll never get over that break wall. Until eventually you cry out to Jesus and Jesus breaks that wall. And then he hugs you and he's like, I've been waiting for you. Anyways, God bless you. Have a good day. Jesus loves you and he is coming soon. And look up because he, he's always smiling down from, he's smiling down from heaven on his children. And he's always there for the broken. And he always heals the people that need him. And God bless you. Have a good day. Because one day. We will all, brothers and sisters, meet Jesus face to face.